What's up everyone, Darkshaw here, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play on triple monitors, which is really nice uh, to be able to do that sometimes. This is what it should look like when you are doing it. That was just a quick clip of some Star Wars Battlefront. So, what you're gonna to want to do first is make sure all your drives are updated. Make sure you got them installed, obviously as well. Um, I think like the 500 series, you can only have you need two graphics cards in your computer. But if you got some of the latest drives, like the I don't know the 960 like graphics card or something like that, I got 1080, so it supports it. But you just need like three inputs on the back at least, like. Um, display ports and HDMI, that's what I've got. So I've got two plugged into my display ports and one plugged into the HDMI. Works absolutely fine. So, and I think the 750, because I had the 750 Ti before, it's got VGA, HDMI, and DVI. Even if you have all them plugged into it, it should still work. And I do recommend you have three monitors that are exactly the same resolution as well. And to be honest, exactly the same make and everything. It just makes things a whole lot easier. So first of all, what you're gonna to wanna to do, right click, you're gonna have this right here, NVIDIA control panel. Click on that, this will pop up, right here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into this, 3D settings, open up, configure, surround, right here. And then this is what it'll look like. Everything should be like this, just auto select, that's what I, if, unless you wanna choose your graphics card, but just leave it on there. It should just choose it anyway. And then span displays with surround. Tick that. So configure. And I've got this open right here. So I've got Bandicam and um, OBS open at the moment. So what we're gonna wanna do for that is go down here, search in task manager, and then whatever you got open, like Bandicam, things like that, just click it and end task. Just like that, anything you got open in that, just end the task, and then just click continue. As soon as you click continue, this right here pop up. Got GeForce GTX 1080 right there. Three monitors connected, you can disable them, but you're not, not here to do that. Resolution, make sure it's 5760 by 1080p. Leave that as that right there. And then enable surround. As soon as I click this, the screen's gonna go. Uh, all black so click that and make sure as well that it's set one two three because see on this this is my middle monitor but it says two so make sure two's in the middle one's on the left and three's on the right and as soon as you've done that enable surround all from this screens go black it all all starts to configure then as soon as that happens it's done so there you go once that is done it has stretched the screen out as you can see right now then you just, if you want to disable it, right click again, go back on. Well, actually, just like if you want to disable it now, just disable surround. But if you've closed everything and once you've played like your games and everything like that, uh, this save changes like this, just go straight back onto NVIDIA control panel, uh, span displays like this, and just apply and it take it straight back to normal. Just untick that and it take it straight back to normal. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions at all, leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible on it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed as well. Hopefully you can game very well in nice, clear, crisp, 1080p, free monitor gaming. It was absolutely fantastic. So guys, thank you for watching. And I shall see you next time. Peace.